Once Memorial Day weekend is hit, I think grilling season has officially started. So today I'm going to show you a nice side dish that you can serve with grilled salmon, grilled chicken, grilled shrimp. It's just such a good side because it's quick to make and it's not potatoes. I know a lot of times it's easy to just go to the potatoes. That's such a go-to. So it's nice to have something a little bit unique and very, very flavorful. I'm going to make a red curry, it's kind of like a linguine, a real simple sauce, just a few ingredients. So to start with, I've just got a pot of hot water. It's not boiling, I don't even have the burner on. I just put the pot of hot water on the stove and I'm going to add some brown rice pad thai noodles. Pad thai noodles work really well. Rice noodles is the important part because you don't really need to boil them until they're done like regular semolina pasta. So I'm just going to break these apart a little bit and they're going to start cooking in the hot water without it even boiling. So I'm just gonna let those noodles soak a little bit and then I'm going to get my sauce started. And just over a medium heat, I'm going to put some red curry paste. And then I've opened a can of full fat coconut milk. And when you open a can of coconut milk, you'll see at the top that there's just this thick layer of coconut cream. I'm going to scoop that cream off and add it to the pot with the red curry paste. Stir that until the coconut cream melts and you'll just have this nice smooth kind of orangish reddish sauce in your pot. And then I'm going to add two tablespoons of honey to just add a little bit of sweetness to it. And it's always best to use local honey and a couple tablespoons of tamari or soy sauce. Tamari, remember, is the gluten-free soy sauce. So I'm going to put that in. And about a teaspoon of paprika. Hungarian paprika is the best. And a little bit of lime juice. Just probably the juice from half of a lime. And I'll squeeze it right into my sauce. So you can see just in that minute or two that these noodles were in the hot water, look at how soft they got already. So it doesn't take long for them to finish cooking in the pot. Today I happen to have some sugar snap peas in the refrigerator, so I trimmed them, I sliced them really thin, and I'm going to add those to the pot right now too so that they cook just a little bit right along with the noodles because I want them to still have a little bit of crunch when I'm eating. So there you go, a red curry linguine, delicious with any grilled food. I'm Sue Doden, sharing good food for good life 365.